I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> you know, don't put this anywhere because my, my doctor doesn't want <laughs> Come on in, everybody keep coming in. What's going on? Keep coming in. That's my mom. You're, you're, well, we, we've had a report that you've been misbehaving, so we had to bring your, your parents in. Oh my goodness. Keep coming. Okay, everybody keep coming in. Just come all the way over come here. Come on over. Do you want to come yeah, on the edge? Over here. Go over. They're firing me. Do you mind going in? That's it. We're out of with you. Come in. It's over. Come on. Wow. Look, Dean's here. This must be something terrible. Cancer or something. Oh my goodness. Actually, we'd like to put you on a Xerox machine and make you go in every school. Okay. My name is Karen Huntsman. Nice to I'm meet here you. Representing the Huntsman Awards of Excellence. Oh and my me, gosh, you're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are coming to tell you that you have won that award. Wow. <laughs> what an incredible opportunity you have to have this man as a teacher because he not only teaches you out of a textbook he teaches you from the, your heart his heart he teaches you about the world he teaches you that no matter what language you speak what country you live in we all want the same thing we all have a heart we all love he teaches you to value differences he teaches you the true things of life that will make you a better person you all think that when you leave school, you have your education over with. Actually, your education starts when you leave school and you go out into the world. But when you have a man like this who has given you the foundation to go out in the world and see life a little bit differently, you are truly a blessed class. And I hope that every day you come in here and that as you leave here, you will take some qualities, some characteristics that he has and put them in your heart and soul. And that's how you say thank you to an incredible teacher is that you go throughout the world carrying a little bit of him with you to make a difference. Yeah, and you also need to know that he is a true friend. And friends are an incredible thing to have. And as you get older, you'll find that your friends are really almost less and less. And a friend doubles our joy and divides our grief. And you know you have a friend in this incredible teacher, that you can always call him, that you can always look to him for advice. And he is an incredible teacher. So we are so grateful. And we have a dinner. I don't even know what day it is. It's like the second Friday in, in May that we have all the teachers throughout the state, all past winners, and Dean Colette leads the path <laughs> and the, and the years principal. ago, and the principal. And we'll come to this dinner and we honor them and we give them a check for $10,000 that they have to spend just on themselves. And I remember once doing this <laughs> to a group of young students and they didn't know how much $10,000 was, but they figured it was enough that their teacher would buy them all a donut. <laughs> so they were so excited to come back to school after the dinner because they figured that their teacher would be able to buy them a donut. Yeah. Anyway, we congratulate oh, you what an appreciate honor. Oh what you gosh. do to not only these students but past students. We've been hearing about you for years and years and years. Oh, that's and great. I just wish we could put him in a Xerox machine <laughs> and put him all over. It would be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't want that. I'm not so sure we wouldn't. I see one of the twins right there. <laughs> Mother. Uh, anyway, grateful for this, and what, oh, we'd love to hear something from you. Uh, well, I was just about ready to tell them a story about um, about not being on time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save that until the rest of you leave, because it's really just for them. We'll do that in just a moment. But I just want uh, all of you to know that this is the most uh, kindest thing you could ever do for me. Room. I mean, I... I just, I, I love to teach, and I love these kids, and I can be more lucky to have this job and to have a few people recognize it. Wow, you know, uh, I know, I know uh, the lessons that I teach are um, done through more of my actions than my words, and really history is not important to me. It's uh, you guys and, and 
growing up and, uh, and being able to deal with the world and it's so complicated, but you're so smart, so I'm not even worried a bit about the future. And I was just telling them a moment ago that uh, I love being a teacher of mostly sophomores because they are 15 and they turn 16. And what an amazing time for me to be a part of their lives. But the sad part for me is that they're going to leave in, in June, and uh, it's really hard on me to know that you're never going to be this way again. But I'm going to relish every minute with you guys, like I just said a minute ago. And we're going to make them just feel really, really good. And, um, so that's our plan. And again, uh, thank you to everybody. And um, I'm just, I just feel so lucky to so have this happen. <laughs> So, so, so much. I'll, I'll Michelle was the, uh, a spirit. I, I know. She wrote these nice things and gathered information and interviewed me, and um, and I was just so flattered. I mean, that, that was a plenty for me. This is way over the top. It was my, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Why don't you come yeah. out here and you just announce the Tea Party nominees? Okay. Well, um, it just, it's been a group effort, and it was a privilege. In fact, Suzanne Hopper got me doing this job. Um, but it was a pleasure because it turned out my son last year was in Kyle's, uh, this very class. And what a difference it made. And, and in fact, he was Well, we've got a grandson and it woke him up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's a great way to say it. And, and, well, it, it and it's made a difference in his life, so it was a great pleasure. But just going around the room, so I've got um, Christy Diver, Elisa Landy, Sue Alder. Um, Aaron Hawley, a student, and Paul Huntsman, who's he's also on the tennis team. Good luck today. Um, and then and Cheryl Benson, who's just been great. Um, no, because she's also my son's counselor, so she's been wonderful to work with. Um, and then I know this is family here and some other administrators. Um, and then Suzanne, as I mentioned, and then Angie Parker. We, we've met in this process, so it's just been wonderful, because not only has it brought us as parents together, and, it, it's, and I want to thank the Huntsman, because it's so nice to be able to recognize these wonderful professors and who make oh, a difference sure. in our kids' lives. And, and so I just can't thank you enough for this opportunity and making this all possible. We're ever so grateful. So. You know, it's interesting. We have a handicapped son. And so we have just started an award that he gives out every year. And I go into some of these classes where they're self-contained handicapped children. And I, you look at the spectrum of teachers that are needed throughout the state and the world and the country to teach kids from all from all walks of life. And so it's a joy for our family to be able to do this. I think it's one of the best things we do. Could you introduce your family? Yeah, this is my mom and dad here, my wife, uh, Sheree, and my son, Hayden. And um, and then when I see them, of course, then I start crying immediately. <laughs> uh, but uh, wow, what a surprise to have them here as well. And, I'm just so glad that I wasn't like head on my desk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bad shoulder right now. Here I am. I look good. I'm supposed to be in a sling and suffering and everything. So it's really lucky. Great timing. I appreciate that. Kyle, I wanted but, to say this way. Yeah. Be doing something really cool at 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we were just chatting. You know, but, um, yeah, but yes, thank, what a great treat to have them there, too. And, I can't tell you how strange this is. This is so weird. <laughs> I'd like to introduce Gail Peterson, who is in charge of all of our nomination, our forms, and with our readers. Anyway, here. I have to tell you one thing about the Huntsmans. John's parents were educator. His father was an educator, and John Huntsman feels like this is really, doesn't he, Karen, one of his most important gifts he gives is this uh, education award. So. I feel so good about Actually, that. Actually, my husband is a frustrated. He would be a country western singer. He can't carry no, a tune he's not. <laughs> I or he would be an English teacher. Oh, he yeah. loves what English grammar. That is his. No, 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 I don't. Will you tell where your children went to school a lot when you were in Utah and where Gail's children went to school? Uh, Hyler. 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 <laughs> Good things come out of these. Well, they mark in 2008. Yeah. Anyway, you're, Thank again, you know. you're lucky. We're sorry we interrupted your class. <laughs> what an opportunity you have just sitting and hanging and talking to a, a, someone with a wounded wing. <laughs> um, we were actually, what our goal was right here at the beginning of class was to 
slowly merge from spring break to school and try to, you know, in a moment I was going to say, does anyone else have a story? Can anyone else tell one? That's a pretty good distraction. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we didn't have to get right to the world history right away. So what, Perfect what, this, where are you in the world? Well, right now we're transitioning from World War I to World War II, and we're linking the Great Depression and the rise of authoritarian states and to World War II. So when you go yes. into Europe, they're still fighting. Yes, in many ways, I guess we are still fighting. Yeah, the, the French don't deal with the Germans, and they don't deal yeah. with the English. Yeah, I guess they're still, and even the French and the British aren't getting along that well either. Well, yeah. Still yeah. Yeah. Flounders Field is alive and well. No, I know. Chunk was full of people yelling at French and the other people. No, I do. I do. Wouldn't it be great if all of the adults could just sit in his class? You know, it truly is wasted on the young. We would have a great class. I think we should just move all of you out, and we would be able to do that. Welcome to Field Soccer Field. Welcome to Field Soccer Field. I can get all of you going. Come on, come on. 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 He said, I hate to say this, but the best high school teacher is right at Highland. Oh, wow. 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 We'll let you get back to World <laughs> War II. I'm going home. I'm calling a stop right now. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm five and a half weeks ago.